Look at her, our child, Ellie, Anna, Grace, Wheeler. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Meet the Wheelers. Incognito. Oh, my gosh. It has been so long, you guys. Yeah. We've had so much going on that it has just been, we, for our own health and safety, yeah. have not been able to Vlogs to are vlog. not obviously coming out like they used to, and they probably won't until we... Until we can get some equilibrium in life. Yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for being supportive still. I know we get messages from you guys pretty much every day. Yeah. Asking what's up, what the update is. Well, we got a big one today. What are we doing yes. here today? Uh, we are one day shy of 20 weeks. Crazy. Um, and today is our 20 week ultrasound. So we are here at the OB or the. Uh, it's not with our midwife. It's, it's in the same facility as yeah. our doctor. And we are going to go do this They're whole at LA new for thing. 90 minutes. Apparently, we get to see her for a long time. All right, so we're here. We're in the room. We've got like stars. Show the belly. Here's Sarah's belly. Her Ellie belly. Say hi. And, and these, my, my love handles, of course. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they did tell us that we can't film the actual ultrasound. So we're gonna try and get, ask if we can get some video on our phones of just the ultrasound. We'll get pictures and we'll put them all uh, in here. So I oh, can't wait, we're so excited to share. She's kicking. She's kicking. She's awake. She's awake. We really wanted her to be awake. She's awake. She's awake. She's kicking. She's a girl. She is a girl, it is confirmed. Sorry, Ellie, this is a little indecent of you, but that's a little girl. We're gonna give you guys all the digital versions they're gonna give to us later, but we want—we couldn't wait. Oh, look at her. Look at her, our child, Ellie, Anna, Grace, Wheeler. Sarah, how do you feel? That was so cool. That was so cool, it was really special. It's weird to finally like, you know, she's like, Push pretty hard on my belly. It was weird because Sarah would be like, I feel her, and we see it happen on the screen. Yeah, it's so weird. And so um, she's measuring great at 20 weeks and three, three days. days. Uh, so just like four days ahead, but it's like she said the. the they don't make a change unless you're a week so measuring a week ahead, but because we did IVF, it's very accurate on yeah. when the two days. So uh, we heard perfect, great, normal, awesome, perfect, great, good words a lot nothing like oh we're gonna have the doctor take a look at that i mean they could come back and be like okay so it looks like here yeah. but so we're waiting to hear from the doctor uh, the sonographer is going to show the pictures but um it was really amazing we can't wait to uh we don't get any more ultrasounds no more ultrasounds what are we gonna do for the next four months wait four months yeah four months what the heck this is so special hey guys so uh this is a two part vlog. two part vlog last time you guys saw us we were uh, going into and a little bit of inside of our 20-week ultrasound. Uh, it's been how many days? It's Saturday now, so that's Saturday. five days. We are 20 and a half weeks and one day. <laughs> so Saturday after our Tuesday uh, week marker. Yeah, and Tuesday, every Tuesday is a new week. I had to go on a work trip shortly after that, and so I was in Dallas for two days which kind of put a damper on our ability to vlog and Sarah was working and staying with family. So um, we're like, all right, we gotta get out and vlog a bit. So we took Rogue. It's not raining, so we're- For a dog walk in uh, this little trail near our house. And just thought we'd uh, finalize sort of where we're at and yeah. say goodbye to you guys. So, so uh, we're, yeah, we're <clears throat> 20, 20 and a half weeks in one day. And um, uh, I wanted to make sure that you told them how you're feeling with the headaches and things oh, yeah. and um, your heartbeat thing that you had. Yeah. Did we mention that? I don't think so. So, la was that last week? Yeah. Sometime last week. I've been getting a lot of headaches, which I think we've mentioned before, but I had one specific one that was just, it was horrible. Like I heard every time my heart would beat, so you know, like every second, um, I would hear it in my ears and my, like, my eyesight was pulsing with it. And I felt like a crazy person. I felt like I was like locked in a box, couldn't get out. It was so loud. I kept like, is someone coming up the stairs? But it was just like my heartbeat. Um, and then like that night it got really bad and my head was pounding so bad. And went to work, started crying at work, left work early, 
went to Mason's dad and got an adjustment. Um, and that's the same day that we had our appointment and stuff. So we, my head got better after that, after the adjustment. Um, and we asked our midwife, like, is this normal? And she was like, absolutely. She said, if you're prone to headaches, which I am, I always have been, um, that you're just likely to get more while you're pregnant. So, um, but she said you can take Tylenol and I am not taking any medication during this pregnancy. Um, We've been having a, having her drink. I've been uh, <laughs> the doctor, conceding to let her drink a little bit of coffee here and there, yeah, which has been helping with the headaches. I haven't lot. had one since. So she was, I mean, a couple times they've said like, it's okay to have a cup of coffee a day. She said up to three. And I said, well, I'm not going to have three cups. So I usually have one cup in the morning now and I haven't had a headache since yeah. since that day so um it's been really awesome because it was getting that's the really the only thing i can complain about this with this pregnancy is yeah the headaches were getting oh. to be unbearable what seeing and feeling ellie yeah okay so we were sitting well you just sniff around for a minute um we were sitting on the couch this morning and i had my shirt pulled up we'll show you my belly later but i had my shirt pulled up and I was kind of like feeling around and I felt her kicking because I had coffee. And um, I, we can see her now. So the other day I was laying in the bathtub and I had my hands under my back so like my belly would come up out of the water. And I was like, I wonder if I could see her. And sure enough, like she kicked and I was like, no way. And I didn't believe um, we could see her. And, and I was Mason like, no it. way. And then like literally the next second, Ellie's just like, yeah, it was so crazy. So that was like a wow, holy cow moment. Like, it was a turning point for me because I was like, I, just last week we were, I, I was sort of like, eh, did I feel Ellie? I, like I, felt, I feel like I felt Ellie. Yeah. But now I feel her and see her. And <sighs> like this morning I put my head on Sarah's belly and I was just like, <gasps> and I yeah, turned slowly, looked at Sarah and was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. So this morning, yeah, she's kicking like crazy. Mason was feeling her. Um, and I must have, I don't, it grossed me out and I feel really <laughs> bad saying that because I've been like waiting to be pregnant, but I got really grossed out. I must have pushed on my belly the same time she was about to either kick or punch, whatever it was, a leg or an arm. And I felt like I felt her pull whatever it was back at the same time that I pushed, like she was about to go kick. And I was like, oh, I'm so grossed out. It was almost like high five too slow. It was so weird. And so then I kept, I didn't want to feel my stomach for a little while. And then Mason was feeling her. And then I put my hand back on there and I felt her like slide. And that grossed me out again. So yeah, it's today totally was a weird. lot of like, ah, there's actually something alive in my belly. We can actually like push down on my stomach now and kind of feel how hard it is. Right? Yeah. And yeah. You can like feel a lump in there now. Yeah. And not just like wait for a kick. Like you can tell like, okay, she's sitting over here. I don't know if it's a butt or a head or whatever, but she's but in butt, there but... and she's moving around. <laughs> and our 20 week ultrasound, um, they said that she's absolutely perfect. There's perfect. nothing to Great. worry about. Good. Um, we'll throw, can you put the videos up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll put a couple videos there right now so you guys can take a peek. But here's, here's our daughter in 3D doing ninja moves. <laughs> and uh, what else we got? We got some. We got some pictures of her. She's a little scary in the face region right now. Her lips and nose are cute, but her eyes are still a little bulgy. Yeah, and in 2D, <laughs> it almost looks like because of the way the fluid, the way um, sonograms work with the fluid and where how it looks dark, it kind of looks like creepy night vision eagle. <laughs> so, Ellie, we love you. If you're watching this, oh my gosh, Ellie's gonna be watching our vlogs. Yeah. Hi Ellie, yeah, I love you. you. This, just know, just know we love you even though you're creepy. Weeks, at 20 weeks you're much cuter in 2D than in 3D. <laughs> and even in 2D you're pretty creepy. But we still love you and we well, can't wait to see you. Her profile in 2D is cute. Yeah, oh if for sure. If straight on your face you look like a freaking skeleton. With... You look scary. Yeah. But, but, Real cute scary. scary. Like, a, like a goofy skeleton. We'd like to promise that we're going to be vlogging a little bit more, but things have been kind of crazy and kind of busy, yeah. and uh, we don't want to make a promise we can't deliver on, but we're going to try and keep you guys as posted as we can. The best place to follow along with the journey for right now is going to Instagram. be Instagram with Wheeler Sarah and Wheeler Mason. Um, but let's be real. You care about what Wheeler Sarah's posted more than Wheeler <laughs> Mason. Uh, anyways, I do have the belly photos. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and some of you guys have been supporting us for literally years, and uh, you know what? It has nothing to do with subscribers uh in, you know likes 
money or anything it's really just been so cool to be a part of this community yeah. and you guys have supported us so much we love hearing your guys' stories about how you guys have succeeded you know so let us know down in the comments how you guys are doing with your journey and some of you have sent us um a few things off our for off of our registry yes thank and you it's so much so special so yeah it's so fun it's so every great. time we open something we're like oh that's so little and yeah. cute somebody sent us the wonky donkey yeah, we've had a couple books sent to us. It's like this teeny tiny little winter hat that we about died over. Oh. Rogue thinks it's her toy because there's some fuzz on the top. <laughs> um, uh, baby wrap. Yeah, it's just so fun. Yeah. So. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our story. And we're, we're blessed to be a part of your story, hopefully, in any way. So let us know how uh, things are going for you guys down in the comments. And uh, just give us an update on you guys. And uh, give this video a thumbs up for little Eliana Grace. And, uh, you know, she's going to watch this video someday and be like, oh my gosh, there's so many thumbs up for, for me. <laughs> wow. So give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, subscribe if you want to follow along with the rest of the journey. There's going to be more to come. We promise there's more. Uh, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. See ya.